Hi, I'm Chris at Sewn XGB. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore the original look to your leather. So this is the products we're going to be using. We have our Sonex Profiline leather cleaner. This is our dilutable leather cleaner, depending on the amount of soiling which is on the leather. Um, I'm going to di dilute this 50-50 into one of our Sonex foam sprayers. These are fantastic. They create a thick foam, which means you use less product, um, not to over soak the leather because Getting leather wet is actually really bad. It's the same as our skin. Um, you know, if we sit in the bath too long, we go wrinkly and our skin, skin dries out. But the thing with us is we can actually re-moisturize ourselves, whereas dead skin that's on a seat in a car cannot re-moisturize itself. So, as I said, getting it too wet is actually a bad thing. Have that one ready. I obviously need our Sonex upholstery and leather brush. And this is fantastic for working the leather into the grain, you know, which is, you know, basically the small uh, pores and stuff from the skin, which is like the hair pores and things like that. But the dirt sits in there, same as us. You know, if we get, if we get dirt on us, it sits in the pores. Um, and we need this brush to work into those pores to pull the dirt out. And I will obviously have our cloths because we need white cloths, because otherwise how am I gonna show you the dirt? Which I'm hoping is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty dirty. And then the next step is our Sonex Profiline Leather Protection. This one will help um, with anti-creaking, um, helps against resoiling. It gives you that original look and original finish. That's easily applied using one of our, if I can dig it out, one of these, which is I like using, which is a, um, an interior pad for applying, you know, you can use this for applying dressings on plastics and stuff like that. But I really like to use this to massage the leather protection into the leather. Okay, so the first step, obviously, I'm going to go in and start cleaning it. And I have, as I said, our Profiline leather cleaner in one of our foam sprayers. I've diluted this 50-50, which is roughly where you need to be for, you know, normal soiling. And to be honest, even heavy dirt, that is quite a, um, a strong enough cleaner for that. Um, if it's really bad, you can go stronger, but if you use the product, you'll find actually at 50-50, it solves 99% of the problems. And again, I'm going to foam this obviously onto the brush. And you can see um, it creates a nice solid foam, which is really dense and again, stops over soaking. I would really recommend diluting this into one of our foam spray bottles um, rather than spraying, because with spraying, as I mentioned earlier, you'll over soak the leather, which can actually cause damage. Um, with the foam, you have much more control about how much liquid is going onto the skin. Right, okay, so you want to work smaller areas. Um, I would normally work, say, panels, so I'd do the two bolsters separately and then split the middle into two. Um, same with the rear. Working in smaller areas just means, you know, you're not applying too much product um, all around the seat and letting it soak in too much, because, you know, as I keep saying, we don't want to over soak. This is perforated leather, has a little hole, so it's far easier for the cleaner to penetrate into areas it's not supposed to go, so you have to be a bit more careful with perforated. So, got my little foam on here. I'm just going to spread that around, okay, around the area so I've got enough cleaner and then I can just gently use the brush to work it into the grain. Don't worry, the brush is not going to damage the leather. This is very, very tough. You imagine you're getting in with jeans on and different really highly abrasive material that people wear as clothes um, and the leather managed to survive. Now this brush is not going to cause any harm. It's the same as us, you know, I do that on there. That doesn't damage my skin. It hurts me a little bit because I have nerves, but this is dead skin, which is much more tougher. It's part of the reason why it's so popular inside a car is because of its durability of just how long and how tough it is. So once we've worked that in, we can now grab our lovely white cloth, which probably won't be white in a second. I have no idea how dirty this leather is because I've not done any patches or anything, so I'm with you on this once I start wiping it. As we wipe that off. Yeah. It's, you know, you imagine that's just that one small bit. Um, yeah, it's dirty. Let's do another wipe somewhere else. So clean, clean side. One wipe. Not as bad, but still incredibly dirty. Um, and then we will wipe these off. You can keep changing to a cleaner side. So it's always handy to have a few cloths because as you're going on, obviously the cloth is gonna get saturated with dirt. And if you just continue wiping, you're just putting that back onto the surface. 
So you can see now I've wiped with that clean side. There's not much on there, but that is pretty incredible for that. I'll show you the cloth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the seat all cleaned and <clears throat> the difference is, is, is incredible. You get that lovely grippy feeling back. Um, you know, if, if your leather is slippery, um, that normally means it's dirty or you have some silicon based products or wax based products on there, um, which will actually make it slippery. Shiny leather is dirty leather. It's one of my favorite sayings, but it is true, okay? So once you have that lovely original matte or satin finish back and that lovely grippy feel, um, then you know you now have clean leather. Now it's clean, it's time to protect it. Now, just before I apply the protection, I just want to show you the towel that I was using. I hope that's coming across on the camera. And just for reference, that's what, that's what a clean towel looks like. You know, that's just one seat. And that's not, that's not um, because it's not been looked after or anything like that. It really picks up and holds on to dirt. Um, that's why it's important to keep on top of cleaning, um, you know, maintenance cleaning and just keeping it clean. Uh, we have another product for that job in a second, so you don't have to go through this two-step process every time, and I will show you that in a second. But right now, I'm going to go and protect the seat. Now it's nice and clean with our Profiline leather protection. I have our pad, which I really like using. You always give this a good shake-up, and you don't need a lot of this. Um, just maybe a couple of pea sizes, and I like to just massage it in a bit so I don't just blob it all down in one go. And then what we do now is just very gently spread that around the area, and then <coughs> you can start massaging it in. And this just <coughs> really applies a protective barrier to help stop the resoiling effect. And as I said before, it stops the anti creak because these are panels of panels. So you have this panel goes down, and you can see there's quite a big gap there. So when you're moving around, you might get that horrible creaking sound, you know, that's a great sound effect there. Um, and that is quite annoying. So this will help stop that. Um, and as I said, it will also help stop resoiling. Um, and also, it will give you that grippy feel. Now, once you've applied this all over and you've massaged it in, you need to leave that, um, you know, five, 10 minutes just to dry off um, and absorb into the pores a little bit of the leather. Any excess, you can just wipe off with a dry cloth and that will then keep your leather protected. I said I would show you a maintenance product and here it is. This is a Profiline Leather Care Foam, okay? So if you're a professional or whether you're at home or whatever, this is great for that one step, quick maintenance cleaning. So, you know, once a month, go around with this, um, especially areas of high traffic that pick up, picks up dirt, you know, the, the bolsters as you're getting in and out, you know, the, the seat base and stuff, especially if you're getting in with your work clothes on and stuff. Um, it makes sense to have this. It's a foam. It makes sense to spray it onto a cloth um, and then just use the cloth to apply it and wipe off. It's very simple to use. You know, areas like, you know, steering wheels and stuff, which I haven't cleaned yet. You can see how shiny that is, I think. Um, I can't wait to do that because that's going to be uh, quite a transformation. But those areas pick up dirt all the time because we're always touching it with our hands, which are most of the time dirty unless you're washing them 50 times a day. Um, and the grease in the oils from your body is easily absorbed into skin. So that's why they get dirty. So this is a great product so that you don't have to go through this deep cleaning two-step all the time. You can just keep on top of it with that. Oh, that's a proper door, that is. Oh, look at the state of that. What a transformation. So remember, don't over soak the leather, okay? Use a brush to work into the grain, but you know, don't push too hard. Don't go, you know, going wild at it. There's no need. The cleaner will do most of the work. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you protect it after and just keep on top of keeping the leather clean because that's the most important thing. The more you leave your, your, your leather to get dirty, it's then prone to cracking and drying out and the, the paint on top also gets damaged if you leave it too long. So just keep on top of it. It's an expensive uh, material. Um, it's a very premium material, so keep it that way. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment. Um, hit the like button and also subscribe because we have so much more cool content coming on, on vehicles like this, so don't miss out.